Hey everybody, this is Seth from Coming Out Tarot. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I wanted to, there's my laundry basket behind me. I wanted to come on and share with everybody this book that I received, which I'm super excited about. I didn't, didn't think I was going to get it until the end of the month and it came early. It's like Christmas in January for me. Uh, I've been wanting this book for a long time and I wasn't sure... Um, I wasn't sure if I should get it. I just kind of kept putting it on the back burner. And then I was getting some other things from Amazon and this was still sitting there in my cart. And I was like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. <clears throat> it comes with this uh, lithograph by Handel, who passed not too long ago. And I've got lithograph number 639 out of 1200, which is... Doesn't really matter, I guess. It's still kind of amazing. But if you don't know, Herman Handel is the author of the Handel Tarot, and it's my favorite deck. It's my go-to deck. It's the one you usually see me using when I'm on here. It's got a lot of browns and greens and um, blues in it. Uh, and this is a book on his life by him, including, so he was part of, he died during the making of this book, uh, including his wife, Erica Handel, Rachel Pollock, who has done extensive work on producing multiple books on his deck, and then several other authors that I have yet to get to know. But what's um, amazing, you can tell it's already huge. I mean, my hands are seven or eight inches long. So this is like almost 12 inches wide. This is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, I think. A little bit wider. Anyway, um, it's a nice um, stock for the cover. Glossy pages, because there's a lot of artwork in here. And uh, it goes through an introduction by his wife, Erica. There is a whole... Um, conversation that Herman has penned about why he is the fool and then we get to hear from some of the other people who are listed on the front where we get some some laudation something about Bavaria from um, Holger Megel I don't know how to pronounce all these German names and then some great insight from Rachel Pollock on the cards another um, statement at the end from his wife Erica and then some additional work what's interesting is that I've made it maybe almost 40 pages in and I'm just really learning uh, more about his life at this point. Things that I kind of had already read about or knew but I'm getting like his version of the story and his wife's version of the story. What's really cool is that later in the book we get to see some of his like current work that was also inspired by, I think, uh, his tarot work, because this came after, this work in particular came after the tarot deck. But we get to see uh, that work that is either current or past that inspires, um, that he, he sees as inspirational too, the cards that he created. So that's kind of cool. So I'm looking forward to like just delving more into his art. And the other thing that's amazing, I'm really looking forward to learning more about how he saw the, um, the court cards. The other thing that's amazing is when you get into the discussion of the pips or the minors you see the full painting uh, and then there are these white outlines of where the backgrounds of the cards were chosen so like for example this eight of wands is this part of this larger painting and he drew the wands into this painting that he'd already done. This one is the 
uh, Six of Cups, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one is the Six of Cups. And then the, the Snow or the, the Two of Swords is down here in the crease. There's the Two of Cups. You can tell just from the background. Here it is with the Two Cups drawn on it. It's got that, that peacock. There's a couple peacocks in this painting, one here, one here. Anyway, I'm excited to delve further into this, and you'll probably hear me talk about it again, and again, and again, and again, as I learn more. Just wanted to share it with you all. Thanks.